Next Focus brought to you by IG. A really um, interesting recent story that I, I thought I would elaborate on a little bit to let you know how interest rates in general uh, affect the Forex space, which is the Australian Central Bank uh, surprised last night came out of nowhere. They were expected to do nothing, and they surprised interest rate hiked. Uh, in the uh, U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve meets 10 times a year. They have an upcoming meeting as well where they're expected to not do anything, uh, but there is an outside chance that they surprise interest rate hike as well. So uh, we'll get to the Australian story uh, in a second just to show you an example of this, but I thought what, what better time than now to show people how interest rate hikes affect Forex uh, uh, than to do it here in our Forex focus segment. Now, historically speaking, before we add some of the Forex nuance, uh, interest rates and currencies tend to be positively correlated. If, uh, for instance, we have the example up of the U.S. Uh, economy. If the U.S. is hiking interest rates in the last uh, uh, year or so, we've seen the two-year U.S. rate go from around 0% to uh, close to 5%, a pretty large move higher in interest rates. And in the same time, we've seen the U.S. dollar uh, generally move higher as well. Historically, interest rates and currencies tend to move in the same direction. And this makes sense after you go down a couple of steps here, which is, you know, uh, interest rates usually moving higher because the economy of that region is doing so well that the central bank has to slow it down a little bit. Uh, and so those high interest rates usually coinciding with um, you know, high economic data, high GDPs, high employment, uh, high uh, inflation, which obviously is seen as a negative on a personal level, but is letting uh, the uh, economy know that people are, are throwing money around, everything's moving. Uh, and so there's, uh, with those higher than expected economic data points, uh, the Fed comes in, hikes interest rates to uh, calm it down and and uh, to match that intensity, so to speak. And with interest rates moving higher, not only is it a show of confidence for that region and maybe creating a little bit of demand for that currency that way, but also in the Forex space, uh, the carry trade is essential to the price action in this space. And so when you're trading a, a Forex pair that has US dollar in it and interest rates are streaming higher, uh, all else equal in the UK, in the Eurozone, in Japan, or wherever, uh, that US dollar would appreciate relative to those other places where interest rates are either not rising as much or not rising at all or moving lower um, as uh, holding a currency in a Forex pair that has a higher interest rate. Uh, every overnight that you hold that, uh, you would get that higher interest rate versus the part of the Forex pair that you are short. Uh, that would be, uh, you'd be borrowing that at a lower interest rate. And you can see here the diagram paints that with the uh, Aussie yen pair. If uh, the uh, Aussie interest rate is moving higher and Japanese interest rate is moving lower, um, then there would potentially create more demand for buying that Aussie and selling that Japanese yen. Um, uh, because, yeah, Forex pairs obviously move on a relative basis basis. And so it's not enough to say uh, U.S. interest rates are higher. If Australian interest rates moving even higher than U.S. interest rates, then that Aussie might appreciate relative to uh, the U.S. And I have a little of that painted out for you here. If both sides hike rates, there could be little change between the Forex pairs. If one side hikes, the other doesn't, or the other cuts, uh, the hiking side uh, theoretically would appreciate in that scenario. Of course, other things are at play uh, as well, but uh, keeping all else equal and just looking at interest rate hikes, that's what you theoretically might expect. And we saw a great example of this last night as the Reserve Bank of Australia had their interest rate decision, expectations across you know a, a number of economists and uh, uh, bank analysts was that they're not going to move rates. Uh, they've talked recently about how you know, they might be set to pause soon, and the economic data that they got in the region wasn't 
uh, that high. And so they come out, they surprise hike 25 basis points. They went from 385 basis points to 410. So now above 4%. And uh, the Australian dollar rallies more than 50 pips against the U.S. dollar on this news. And of course, in the same time, the U.S. hasn't hiked interest rates. So this is a classic example of Australia hiking interest rates, U.S. Uh, keeping everything unchanged, and a 50-point uh, appreciation in that Australian dollar relative to USD.